Red Bull makes an off-roading monster inspired by a jet or a wild pig. Uh, you decide. Uh, Lambo's got a big ego. Uh, uh, uh. Such a big ego. Uh, uh, uh. I'll fill you in on what I'm talking about. And Nismo might have a supercar of their own. Plus, that new Volvo S90 hits the onlines, and it's looking good. Also, it's Friday, folks, so I'll break it down for you with some rapid-fire news. <laughs> oh, what are you, Jack Frost? Showing up, being all mad here? Because it's Christmas time? That was a sinister laugh. Jack Frost in the building. Yep. Beat it. Oh, he's quiet now. I yelled at him. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and this is the Fast of the Lane to the Daily. Let's go. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, should just play the Welcome Back Cotter theme song for Volvo, or the Mace version, uh, whichever one you prefer. What I'm getting at is that Volvo is back in a big way. I mean, they're pumping out some great vehicles lately, and they just revealed the all-new S90 premium sedan, along with some of the specifics, like a T8 twin-engine plug-in hybrid version, and hot damn, it looks good, right? And that interior, though, mad luxurious, Erica. Wow. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's straight up Volvalicious. It's the new name for the interior. Okay. That I made it up. Uh, as expected, the uh, S90 sedan is based on the Scalable Platform Architecture, or SPA, if you'd like for short. Uh, it was first used by the XC90. The Volvo S90 T8 twin-engine plug-in hybrid will shell out 394 horsepower by combining a 318 horsepower four-cylinder turbocharged and supercharged two-liter gas engine with an 80 horsepower electric motor and a 46 horsepower crankshaft mounted starter generator. All of them paired with an eight-speed automatic gearbox. Geez, that's a lot crammed in there. A lot going on in that Volvo. Power goes to all four wheels and the all-new Volvo S90 will make its public debut at the Detroit Auto Show in January with those Thor Hammer LEDs. Yeah, that's right. As one commenter said a while back, Thor some hammers back there. Nice. Yeah, I forget yeah. who said that, but I thought that was funny when yeah. I heard it. Thor some hammers back there. So you know how Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes-Benz's brand AMG broke away from the norm by having their own dedicated Mercedes AMG GT? Of course you do. Yeah, well, Nissan's Nismo brand may do the same thing, but not until it grows up, just a little bit apparently. In an interview with Top Gear, Nissan's chief product specialist, Hiroshi Tamura, Tamura was talking about a full-fledged Nismo branded supercar. Tamura said, Nismo is still a baby brand, and the baby needs protection. So not yet, but someday, yes. Oh, now look what you did. You woke up the baby Nismo. We just put him to sleep, you jerk. Oh, come on, stop crying. I said stop. Nice. I have a way with kids, Erica. True. I do. They listen to me, they like me, especially chubby babies, because they rock. Chubby babies are the coolest. But yeah, we don't know when the Nismo supercar is coming, but it's appar apparently it's gonna happen. All right. Lamborghini filed to register a trademark for the name Egoista. Yeah, the name was actually used on this outrageously orange accented one-off Lamborghini, a single-seater concept revealed in 2013. The Egoista was never displayed at any auto shows. It went straight to the museum in uh, Santa Gata Bolognese at the uh, entrance to the company's factory and headquarters. The Lamborghini Egoista surfaced in May 2013 as a birthday present from Lambo to itself on the occasion of its 50th anniversary. So first they are buying themselves presents and now want to name a car Egoista? Jeez, Lambo, you narcissist. Right, okay? All about themselves. Power came from a 5.2 liter V10 engine making 600 horsepower. So wait, does this mean that the Lamborghini Egoista will go into production? Well, who knows? But trademarking the name usually means they want to do something with it sooner or later, which essentially can mean any time. But uh, Egoista, huh? 
Is that like a Starbucks barista? Except when you go into the store the, and talk to the egoista, they just keep telling you about themselves. You just go in to get bombarded by their big ego. Uh, we're an egoist here. By the way, my nails are way better than yours. And I could run faster than you. Red Bull made this thing right here. Uh, for some reason, it reminds me of like a warthog. Like just the way it's, the shape is and the stance of it. Anyway, it's a one-off, uh, one off-roading monster. It's an off-roading monster is what I'm trying to say, Erica. Yeah. Uh, that is inspired by F-22 Raptor jet. Yeah. Based around a Land Rover Defender 130, Red Bull's latest creation comes from Australia and brings together jet fighter-inspired bodywork with the off-road capabilities you'd expect from a Land Rover, all while acting as a portable DJ booth. Probably didn't expect that one coming, huh? Yeah, because when I'm off when I'm off-roading, AK, nothing gets me more fired up than stopping the fun of off-roading, you know, and just busting out my portable DJ booth to play some tunes. Am I right, AK? Right, Derek T. I guess their whole thing is uh, you can take the party anywhere. Well, the truck is badass looking. I'm gonna give it that. Red Bull's unique creation provides the ultimate party wherever it travels. The roof opens up with a DJ deck, a set of speakers, and a large screen. Perfect, perfect for those DJs who are basically glorified iTunes players. I mean, they're up there turning some knobs, looking busy, and then they wait until the beat drops, and they just like jump. Like this, watch, they're like. That's what, they, that's what they do. It's the same thing. I just DJ'd. I'm a DJ now because of that. Same thing, Erica. Nope. Yes. Oh, that EDM, bro. Hey, like Beck said, give me two turntables and a microphone, and then you can call yourself a DJ. That's what I think. All right, let's go from slow to quick, and I'm not talking Nestle, AK. There's some rapid fire news. <laughs> <laughs> Again with the sinister laugh. Better get out of here, Jack. We want your frost, Jack. Right. Remember Nestle Quick? That was some good stuff. Yeah, Nesquik? I guess it's still around. Well, yeah, for short, Nesquik. But, uh, you ready, Erica? All right, here we go. Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys make mad cheese and consequently automotive music with their black on black on black McLaren and Bentley. Now to Audi, a new high tech concept saying howdy at the CES show in Vegas. Probably something with a lot of technology, autonomous driving possibly, that's my hypothesis. I mean hypothesis when I'm talking about this. A recent study says if you're a teenager, you're probably a bad driver. No surprise there, no need to be MacGyver to figure that out. Buy safe, be safe when you're driving about. Here's something bizarre, a baby falls out of a moving car, the little squirt wasn't hurt, but geez, make sure your kid is secure. Dude felt the whiplash in this Koenigsegg and Guerra R crash. That's four million bucks down the drain. 26 year old was driving drunk. www.imarichjackass.com should be his domain name. Do you have a mini wiener? Well, you're lucky because sales are over for the Oscar Mayer mini wiener rover. No doubt they got all sold out on Cyber Monday. And that's all I gotta say. I'm done. About to get a million views via this edition of Rapid Fire News. <laughs> wow, Derek D. Wow. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate that. That was flawless. Wait, AK, are you the guy that's no, always? No, it's not you. No, okay, no. I wasn't sure. It's you... that guy under the table. Oh, okay, yeah, because I see something moving on there. I just wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah, it's what a jerk. Guy. What an idiot. Yeah. Um, good one. Only yeah. flubbed up a little. Yeah. But yeah, a baby fell out of the car in Russia, and a dash cam got the back of it. The baby was okay, and then the mom ran. Like, how's the baby open the door and fall out? I don't know. Secure your kids. That's crazy. That is. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, our FLD question of the day is, do you think the Volvo S90 is the nicest Volvo sedan ever? Yeah, that's the question. I mean, it is pretty darn nice. That interior, Volvo is stepping up the game. Let us know. Hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send your own in to tipsatfastlanedaily.com. Thank you, AK. And uh, well, I tell you what, folks, that's gonna do it for today and this week of Fastlane Daily. And don't worry. We're gonna bring back Guess the Car next week. But we're gonna try to do it weekly. We heard you guys what you were saying, so we're gonna try to make it a weekly thing. But we're gonna make it harder this time. All right? Apparently that was too easy for you Sounds guys. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend. What's your favorite Christmas movie? National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, hands down. Erica. You've seen it, right?
I'm dead. Dead. Ow. I'm dead. Ow.